Have they ever seen another like me living giant type Step in your house and bump my head on when you're silly Climbed out of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine Dive off my lips, no longer hold no, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers I'm supplying the gifts I feel it's only right to tell you that I'm going in Showtime, here we go, here we go Hey, before we get into that, hey, it's your boy Big Mike Raider And we're here to do another film breakdown on a new acquisition that we just picked up, Jordan Willis, defensive end, seven-year vet uh, from the uh, San Francisco 49ers. Uh, let's get into some of his stats before we get into some of his film breakdown. Um, here we go. So last season, he had in nine games played, he had uh, 12 combined tackles, six solo, and two sacks. The season before in 2021, he had – Three sacks, 15 combined tackles, and uh, six solo tackles. So um, this is a depth piece. But let me tell you guys, looking at the film, I want to let you guys know that this is a guy who has a motor, he has good fundamentals, and he plays the game right. Before I get into this, this, this uh, film breakdown, I want you guys to kind of fix your eyes on some certain things. I want you guys to look at pad level. I want you guys to look at hand placement. I want you to look at uh, game awareness, play awareness, those kind of things. Those are the kind of – that's the lens that we want to put on when we're looking at Justin uh, – sorry, Jordan Willis. Um, this guy is a, a sneaky piece to our puzzle. You know, we we got – you know, we got in the front, we got Max Crosby. We got Chandler Jones. But this is a guy that's going to be coming off the bench and providing that extra – you know, that extra push in the in second, third, even fourth quarter. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. I want to show you guys some film, just a couple of uh, items, nothing crazy. He didn't play much anyway. So let's, let's rewind this before we get into it. All right, let's press pause. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So what we're looking at here is Jordan Willis. He's on the bottom right corner. He's in a you can argue and say he's in a nine, a Y nine, or you can even say he's on a six in a six technique. So before I get into what that is, before we get into the play, I want to tell you what that is, right? A six technique is pretty much you lined up head up on a what would be a tight end at that time. Uh, as you can see on that bottom right hand corner, there's no tight end. Uh, so as if a tight end was there, it would you would you can argue and say he would be head up on a tight end if that tight end was there. You can also say they'd be on the outside shade of a tight end if the tight end was there. So let's, for argument's sake, let's say he's in a, a nine, a wide nine. This is uh, one of those kind of techniques that edge rushers pass, rushers salivate when they when they get the call for this, and this is exactly what happens. So this is the first play right here. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Jordan Willis on the bottom right-hand corner in the nine. Here you go. Locked up with the, the tackle. Recognizes that. Justin Herbert wants to scramble and he makes the play. Now, this is something important I want you guys to see. We'll get a better angle on this right here. And I'm going to stop it at a point. So you go on the on your right uh, left hand screen, you stop right here. Okay, let's keep going a little bit. So look at look at number 75. Look at Jordan Willis. He's already getting a takeoff at an angle because he knows that the de the defensive tackle costs pressure. And Justin Herbert, he sees that. There's a lane right there. He sees that Justin Herbert is going to take that lane and take off for some extra yardage. And number 75 already has his wheels. He's ready to go. So let's check it out. He's already running as Justin Herbert is taking off. There you go. He makes the tackle. And that's a spectacular play right there. This is the next play. Uh, let's pause it just a little bit. He's on your bottom left-hand corner. He's also in a what we would argue a nine or even a six technique, depending on how you see it. He's wide out there. He's a wide nine or a six. So let's see how the play unfolds. Wide receiver motions right here. Sheds the, the tackle and makes the play right there. So we'll get a better angle on that one. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on right here. So he's in a wide nine right here. Uh, obvious kind of pass situation or in uh, this kind of situation, it wasn't a pass, but he, he's definitely set up to be out there to be a pass rusher. Um, let's see how it goes, right? All right, all right. Motion right there. Boom. Look at that. 
Look at that. He has hand placement right here. And this is what I wanted you guys to fix your eyes on, right? I want you to see the lower pad level than the offensive tackle, right? The, the right tackle. Number 75 has a lower pad level. He has his hands extended. He got his hands on that tackle before the tackle can get hands on him. He's got his hands right in his chest, and he pretty much can go wherever he wants to go. He has the tackle in a bad position, and we'll see how it keeps going. There you go. He sheds the tackle right there, throws him off of him just in time to make that play with the help of his buddies right there. That's a great play. This is a great play from number 75, Jordan Willis. Right there, right there. There you go. Gang tackle. Let's see the next play right here. All right. So there's not much to see right here, but you know what? We can find a little something in everything. And I'm going to pause it right here. This is a fourth and one situation. Um, they're going to do a quarterback sneak to trying to catch the 49ers off guard, which they did. Uh, but here's some here's some recognition. You want to? This is what I wanted to show you. IQ, right? Play recognition. And we have Jordan Willis in a uh, is in a three technique on our right hand side. Uh, we have the nose tackle right on the center. He's to the right of that nose tackle. He's number seventy five in a three technique right there, right in between the guard and the tackle, the right guard and the right tackle, guys. So this is fourth and one. So let's check it out. As a ball snap right there, he's already slant in and make that play. He's recognizing that the, it is a, a quarterback sneak. He's going to go right off the, in between that center and guard right there. And he makes a slant. He uh, actually makes the play. He gets a first down, but he's, he's there um, to make the best play possible right there. So excellent play right there. Um, the little things, right? It's the little things that count. And I, I think that was something that I would like to share, the little things. So here we go. All right. So we have... An interesting formation right here. I want you to see that we have um, number fifty-seven, the linebacker over the A gap. We have um, we have another tackle right there. Can't see his number. He's in. He's lined up head on with the with the uh, right tackle, number sixty-eight. He's kind of leaning in towards that B gap. And then we have our guy Jordan Willis right here. He's on the outside shade. He's definitely in a six right here. He's lined head up on that slot receiver. You can say that he's maybe like, uh, you know, let's just say that that would be usually where a tight end would be, but he's lined up on that slot receiver. So let's say he's in a six technique at this point. So let's see how it goes. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So as you can see, Jordan Willis had his hands out, had his hand out before number 68 can get his hands out on him. He has a lower pad level. He has a bend. That's perfect. That's perfect technique from a defensive end. He has that lower pad level, like I said, and he has a bend. That's a bend. He's almost at a 45-degree angle, as you can see, and he makes a perfect play. Let's see what he does here. There you go. Oh, my goodness. He, You see that? He had an extended arm right there. His arm was extended and really just – got that tackle out of his way and 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 this guy also has a motor he didn't make the play but he causes a pressure and he causes uh he causes justin herbert to go take off he gets the first down but uh he paid for that one he paid for that hit as you can see he uh he got hit pretty hard on that play and that play was started by jordan willis and getting that bend on that tackle getting his hands you know getting proper hand placement proper pad level everything that you want to see from a defensive end Good technique from Jordan Willis. Next play right here. Let's see. You got the motion from the receiver. We got him on the top right-hand corner, guys. There you go. Lined up with number 68. Sheds the block and makes the sack. That was a third and 10. He ends up, they end up getting a field goal out of that. That was a big play. So let's stop it right here. So we have Jordan Willis as uh, he's in that wide nine again, as we see in this entire game. He's in the wide nine. Uh, right over the, the number 68 on our right-hand corner on the outside. So let's see how it goes. Actually, that's not uh, Justin Herbert in that game. I wonder what happened to him. But anyways, uh, we'll see how it goes. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there you go. So he gets his hands out on that guard. On that, I'm sorry, the tackle before uh, the, the the tackle get his hands on him. He, he He's really good. What I've noticed is he's really good with getting his hands 
on the offensive lineman before the offensive lineman can get hands on him. And that's exactly what you want to see from a um, from a, a pass rusher, a defensive end. Uh, also, he has a lower pad level. Once again, he has that slight bend a little bit, a bend that you want to see from a defensive end. Here we go. Let's keep it going. Okay. Sheds the blocker. He keeps moving. There you go. Goes down and makes the tackle right there. Excellent play from number 75. Let's see. Let's stop it right here. So we have uh, Jordan Willis once again in that wide nine on the outside, on the uh, right hand uh, right hand side. He's on that outside right here. And let's see how it goes. All right, there you go. Oh, and he catches number 68 off guard right here. Let's see. This is poor. This is this is great technique from number 75, but this is also poor technique from 68, that right, uh, that left tackle, guys. Let's see. This is what you don't want from your left tackle, guys. His shoulders get over his knees. He's leaning too forward, and number 75, Jordan Willis, takes advantage of it, man. Easy play for him to make, right? Number 68 was exposed right there, leaning too forward, taking a gamble, and he paid for it. And that's attributed to number 75's great uh, fundamentals, his technique that he's shown throughout all the film that I've been watching. He, he really shows a good pad level. He really shows good fundamentals, hand placement, and things like that. And uh, I think number 68 was taking a gamble. He was trying to get that lower pad level, and he just leaned too much forward without bending the hips. And that's what you get. You get what you pay for right there. There you go. So let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see how it unfolds. All right. Yep. Sheds him off. And he ends up making the hit right there. Didn't get the sack. Not quite, but he makes a big hit on Justin Herbert. So let's fast forward. We're moving up to uh, week 18 against the Cardinals. Uh, final game of the season. And uh, at this point right here, I'm going to remove myself because... Um, if you guys can still hear me, uh, you have Jordan Willis um, on the bottom left-hand corner. So we'll see this play right here unfold. Let's see how it goes. There you go. There you go, Jordan Willis. Nice swipe right there. He does a little, like, you know, uh, Mr. Miyagi kind of deal. Um, I'm going to jump right back in. Here we go. I'm back. I'm back. So let's see how it goes. He actually causes the fumble right here. So let's see. Let's see real quick. Let's stop it right here. So right now we can see he's on, he's in a, uh, you can say he's in a six or a wide nine. This is usually where they put him, uh, what I've noticed, right? Um, so he's on not on our left-hand corner. He's on uh way outside. He's like in the D gap. Uh, if, a, if, a, if a tight end was there, he'd be on the outside shade of that tight end or maybe even head on. Um, but he's way out there, right? Number 68 would have to make a good angle to make a play, right? So let's see how it goes. All right, ball snapped right here. And oh my goodness, he gives him the Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax off. And now number 68 is on skates. Now you see the back of his jersey and you never want to see the back of your offensive tackles jersey in this kind of situation. And the motor, he keeps on going. He recognizes that. You know, he's going to roll out to his left, and he keeps on going. It's a motor thing, right? His motor is excellent. He never quits on a play, and he causes the fumble. Excellent play right here. So you got Jordan Willis. This time, this is a run situation. And, guys, I want to show you something. This is going to be a Statue of Liberty play of the day. And what I mean by Statue of Liberty, if I can capture it at the right time, man, here we go. Statue of Liberty right here. Now we stop that right here, right? He's head up on the, the tight end, so he's in a six. He's head up on number 87. As you can see, ball was snapped. It looks like they're going to do a uh, – they, they're in kind of like a wildcat formation. You have uh, one of the linemen uh, coming down pulling, and then number 89 pulling as well. But see what Jordan Willis does. He's lined up on number 87 on your left-hand corner of the screen right here. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. Statue of Liberty. <laughs> so what I mean by that, right, when you got an offensive, you know, a, a, a run blocker, whether it's a, a lineman or a tight end, anytime you can get underneath them pads, 
and get to that arm and raise that arm like this. You know, get them hands right and get that arm up. You got a Statue of Liberty situation. He manhandles number 87, causes a cluster, throws him back into the other pulling, um, whether it was a tight end or a receiver, pulling um, tight end or receiver, causes a cluster. Number 15 has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Sheds number 87, right? We'll see it go and continue. Sheds him off and ends up making a play. Gave him the Statue of Liberty treatment. Excellent play by number 75. Abused. Absolutely abused number 87, the tight end. And that's what you want to see. You want to see your defensive ends, whenever they're on a tight end, absolutely abuse a tight end. Because they, if a tight end can block you, you don't belong in the league. Anyway, let's see the next play. Number 75 on the bottom right-hand corner out in that wide nine again. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see how it unfolds. Okay. Lines up on 68. Sheds him real quick and gets inside to make the tackle. Excellent play. Uh, good footwork. And this is what I'm saying, play recognition, low pad level, good play, hand placement. This is what you want to see from a defensive end. There you go. Good hand placement. Give, give him that uh, Mr. Miyagi uh, hands-on, you know, hands-on and wax-on, wax-off kind of situation. This time he sheds him and gets to the inside right there. Running back thinks he has a big lane right there, but he doesn't because Jordan Willis sheds number 68 and gets right off of him and fills that gap right there. And 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 th that's just great playing right there. That's just great play. Number 75 in on the play right there. Excellent play by Jordan Willis. Man, sneaky good guy right here, man. I'm telling you. And here we go. Let's let's go back in time, right? Uh number uh he's now wearing number 94. This is uh the 2021 season. Like I said, he had three sacks, he had uh 15 combined tackles uh in 10 games. So this time he's wearing number 94. He's going to be on our right-hand corner, uh, lined uh, in a five technique right uh, on the outside shade of the left tackle. So here we go. And he's going against our favorite guy, Les Ride himself. Here you go. Here you go. See what he does right there. And this is the same thing. He doesn't let the offensive tackle get his hands on him right there. He's not touching. He's not letting him touch him. And his motor lets him continue to go down, down the line and continue to make this play. Excellent play by number 94, our guy Jordan Willis. Excellent play right there. And here we go. Jump right into it. Uh, he's on our right-hand corner right here on the outside. He's uh, Right now he's got number 75 on our left-hand uh, on the top uh, left um, center, he's on the left uh, side um, on, on that left tackle. He, he's got number 75 on skates right here, and you'll see it just perfectly right here. Have him skating, doing the moonwalk, closes that pocket, you know, has him uh, collapse in that pocket in the uh, Tannehill, and he makes the play. Perfect play by number 94. That's what you want to see. So here we go. Last play right here. Last play, this was a uh, miscommunication from the Texans' offensive line. Uh, you can argue that they maybe should have slid over. Maybe you had that uh, that running back that's on that right side uh, motion over to the left because what ends up happening is that number 94 on the bottom right-hand corner is unaccounted for. Here we go. And he makes, uh, you know, he makes the most of his situation. He takes advantage of it. He causes a strip right there, and he makes the play. Excellent play. Excellent acquisition. Jordan Willis, guys, I'm telling you, his film pops out, right? IQ is great. Hand placement is great. Low pad level. This is what you want to see from a defensive end. And I'm telling you guys, this guy is going to make some noise, whether it's, you know, you know, maybe not on the, maybe not on the stat sheet, but, Two or three sacks, we'll take it. We'll take it, especially coming off the bench. It's, it's, it's perfect, right? It's perfect. And you line him, you team him up with two of the best pass rushers in the game with uh, Max Crosby and Chandler Jones, sky's the limit, right? This guy's a seven-year vet. Hey, he's still in his prime as far as I'm concerned. Guys, that's the film breakdown, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your boy. Big Mike Raider. And don't forget to like the thumb, hit the sub, and share with your folks. 
We're making this thing grow. We're on the road to 1K. Once again, I'm Big Mike Raider, writer and contributor for Planet Raiders. Thank you for supporting, and you guys have a good night. Fuck it, I entertain and play along. They claim they the best in the game when I'm the system that they play it on. They copy me, but my pattern is far beyond strange. I sit back and watch my clones play like LeBron James. See, I'm the illest that's walking under the firmament. The pat on the back from me will leave a pump that's permanent. They pointed and laughed when cautious wasn't doing well. I needed that. First you learn, then you remove the L. Soon after that, you can't be stopped. Get up and go and get it. You gotta activate your hustle if you want specifics. It's no denying me, my flow's terrific. All these candy bars being produced, I guess that may be the golden ticket. My whole life, good and evil, been playing tug of war, but still I remain flyer than Marty McFly's hoverboard. Don't trust the soul, too many stabs in the back. They sleeping on me, now it's time to wake them up from their nap. It's a difference between confusion and undeniable rap. That's why fake they listen and don't know how to act. Fat Sonic, boom, I'm light speeding. Trust the haters, life scheming. Switch up from good to bad to gremlin type like a knife beating. Rhyming to my teeth, broken diamond to my speech, golden. Keep a heavenly flow, that yoga flame got my teeth smoking. Never will